Hey guys, I'm back with another Kindle review, and this time around for the 14.5 ounce three wick moonlit graveyard candle from Bath and Body Works, part of the upcoming Halloween collection. This does have the higher price tag of $36.95 because it does come with like that ghost Oreo cookie lid off to the side there that is quite substantial and heavy. Uh, it is indeed a luminary candle. I wasn't sure because they normally sort of indicate that on the packaging, uh, but it is indeed a luminary candle. Basically, what it, whatever, whatever is in the black background kind of is like a cutout. So like the carriage and the branches and the stars and the moon. Uh, they are kind of cut out through the label so it does illuminate so that's kind of cool so the notes on this read tombstone moss cold foggy air and eerie incense uh, yeah, so not my favorite type of fragrance. Totally just bought it because of the Halloween hype. Like, this could be called Patchouli and Oak Moss in a Neutrals collection. I wouldn't ever give it a second look. Uh, but because it's in, like, cute little Halloween hype packaging with a juicy lid and a higher price point, you're like, oh my god, this has got to be cool, so let me pick it up. And But it isn't. Uh, so what does it smell like? Uh, it's kind of like if you took the patchouli from uh, the Spice Pumpkin and Patchouli candle. It's almost like this, like, mature... It kind of smells like mature men's spicy cologne uh kind of patchouli is what i get from it it's kind of like damp and earthy uh and a little bit woodsy but still kind of sweet at the same time you get that patchouli that's very reminiscent of the spice pumpkin and patchouli in here and i guess you do get kind of like a mossiness i'm not really sure what moss smells like but like moss also shows up in the Paris Daydream, aka Sparkling Icicles, aka Freshwater, aka Aqua de Geo fragrance. Uh, and it kind of shares a lot of similarities with that candle and that same type of like, uh, like cologne type of fragrance is kind of mixed in here. Uh, it also kind of reminds me of like a Old Spice type of like classic, once again, mature, spicy men's cologne fragrance. So not like your uh, mahogany teakwood type of cologne fragrance, but more so like your classic spicy, mature men's like Old Spice type of feel is mixed in with that patchouli and I guess that moss note. But it does kind of, for whatever reason, these type of cologne candles always reminds me of like root beer or Coca-Cola. I think there's like a shared similar spiciness that's either coming from like a star anise or like a, a licorice fragrance. Uh, I always get that type of vibe in here uh, with these type of like classic spicy cologne fragrances. And I get that mixed with like the mossiness and the patchouli, I suppose. Uh, and then it's kind of like rounded out with like a sort of like rich and sweet, uh, deep sort of amber fragrance to round it out. That gives like a, a little bit of a sweetness and a depth to it. Uh, but overall, it just kind of smells like a sort of like patchouli and spice driven classic mature men's cologne fragrance is what I get from it. So yeah. Um, does it smell like a moonlit graveyard? I don't, I don't really know. There's nothing like, uh, it doesn't smell necessarily like dirt. It doesn't really smell smoky. It's not like fiery or bonfiery or anything like that. So I wouldn't, don't think of like a campfire fragrance at all. It's just truly like a patchouli, uh, amber, mossy type of spicy cologne fragrance and that's pretty much what I get from it. Uh, as you can tell, I'm not super enthused by it. Uh, this just isn't one of my favorite type of fragrance categories and especially because it's still very hot outside. It's just a little seasonally inappropriate, but if I think this is pretty much going to be a packaging buy anyways, so you probably already know if you're going to buy at this point uh, and it's not so much on the fragrance itself. So that's pretty much it for the fragrance. Let me go into the performance. Performance is fine. Thick rope like wigs. Uh, so it's after like two or three hours. So make sure you keep it trimmed. Uh, the usual with this. Uh, the throw is totally adequate. I would say medium, medium plus. Somewhere in like the seven and a seven and a half range. Uh, really have no issues smelling it. Obviously stronger in a smaller bedroom. And then a little bit lighter in a open concept area. But I would say medium to medium plus. So we're good to go there. Overall, not a reperch. Uh, if it didn't have like the enticing Halloween hype label behind it, would I have purchased it? Absolutely not. If it was called Patchouli and Oak Moss in a Neutrals collection, would I have given it a second sniff? No, I don't think so. And that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts down below and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.